Hey, welcome back, Firefighter Cat Freda. We're back in my kitchen and we're, we are doing a chili. So regular chili, firehouse special. So tonight, I'm gonna cook some chili for us and it's gonna be simple, easy. Right now, this is one and a half onions, yellow onions with one red bell pepper. And I'm gonna basically pour this guy right inside over here, follow me. And excuse my, I'm gonna put it right in there, boom. Okay, so that's gonna be in there. Starting this up fast here. So basically we're making a homemade chili in my house. I'm gonna put this guy back over here and we're gonna put the meat on. So let me continue with my story here. Firehouse chili, regular firehouse chili is a very popular dish and uh, we make it at home too. So now, right now, I'm gonna set this for four hours. It's gonna be in a crock pot. We also have the double cooker over there. We're not gonna use a double cooker, but simply enough, you brown up some onions, uh, one and a half, medium yellow onions, one red bell pepper. I'm gonna put, you can use red meat, you can use turkey meat. I'm using this ground beef right here, grass fed, because nowadays everybody's going grass fed, and it's, uh, they say it's healthier. Now, is it? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, um, so let's just go that way. Let's just pretend it is. So I'm gonna put this in here, and I'm gonna basically put it right on the same dish. That same, there you go. This is two pounds, by the way. Two pounds of red meat. Oh, get every last bit of that. My little guy, he loves to eat. Uh, the new little guy, like literally, days old. You might hear him in the background. He's uh, usually calling for for milk. So when he's calling, I have to go and do my duty. So anyway, so this is going to be the red meat. It's going to go in here. Once the red meat's inside, we're going to go ahead and season it. Lightly season. Pretty easy to do. All you want to do is throw on a little bit it's all by taste, all by touch. You don't have to do it by exact measurements. Um, I actually think sometimes that could mess things up. You want to just do it just a little bit at a time. A little salt, a little pepper. Salt and pepper. That's pretty much the simple way to go almost for everything. So salt and pepper. Let me get my uh, little thing here. My napkin. Okay, coming back in the picture, let me show you. So basically, right here, I'm gonna let that season over there. I'm gonna show you in a sec. This is the crock pot. Basically, you wanna use two, and this is how many ounces? 14 and a half ounces of diced, diced, I don't know if it shows it good there, petite tomatoes. Put it right in there, let's pour it in. There's two of those guys, put it right on, just like that. Oh, just like that. Now, we're gonna do some spices. Now you can do chipotle. It's gonna give it a little spice, but I don't really wanna you know, spice up too much for my little guy. I don't wanna mess it up for him. So this is just gonna be like a, a teaspoon. Teaspoon in there of chipotle. This is chili. Chili? Mmm, chili's good. You wanna do, it's not spicy at all. Chili powder, you can buy it at your local store. Now, tablespoon. Tablespoon. Make sure there's nothing wackadoo in there. You don't want any plastics. A little more, eh, you know, I'll do it by taste later. So remember, kind of everything's by taste, okay? And then this is cumin. Remember the cumin I bought a while ago for my chili verde? Basically, you can kind of just pour it in there. You could do also less than a teaspoon. Now you don't need to put any salt, but we do have garlic. This garlic, let me turn this on actually here. That meat is not turned on. So, as we work on that, we're also gonna do the meat. So, a little olive oil, right? Olive oil is gonna help it break down. Now that salt and that pepper, I'm going to do it right now. Now, salt and pepper, super important. Like I said, lightly seasoned. So remove my wine out of the way. You could actually put a little wine in there if you wanted to. and actually makes it super rich in flavor. 
But this is going to be dry ingredients here. So it's a little black pepper. Put a little bit in there. These are peppercorns, right? So that's a teaspoon. This right here is a little salt. That's for the meat only. Just a little bit. This is sea salt. Teaspoon. So let me see if I can show you. Sea salt. So dry stuff, blend it up. Pour right on the meat. Here's the meat. There we go. Get like my wooden little spoon so I can actually break it up. So I have that right near me here. There it is. There it is. So I've got my spoon right here. So this meal is a pretty fast and easy meal. This literally, to prep in a couple minutes, all you do is break down this meat. You can actually put all this meat in the crock pot if you want, and not even worry about doing this, like browning it. I'm only doing this, so I want to show you. So you can brown it before you put it in, and actually make it, make it taste extra amazing. So we'll do a light brown, kind of mixing it up with a little olive oil. You can even put the top on so it doesn't splash everywhere. Once this is lightly brown, you can pour it right in to my crock pot. It's already lightly seasoned also, so it's not like ridiculously seasoned. Because you don't want to over season something, otherwise it might not taste good. So, right now, that's doing its thing. Almost done. We're going to go back over here, and I'm going to kind of show you what the pot looks like. So right now, there it is. Only a little bit of stuff in there. This dish is like such a super simple dish. At the very end, when we're almost done and ready to serve this meal, what we're going to do is we're going to put some basically sharp cheddar cheese on top. You want to dress it with sharp cheddar cheese, and you can slice avocados. Haas avocados. And that's like to kind of display it nice and have it for the kids. This meal is not going to be spicy. It's going to be super uh, just flavorful. And, you know, one other ingredient that you want to put in there, you can put powdered garlic. So you can do like, uh, you know, I have it here, the garlic powder, or you can put the real thing. Um, I usually put the real thing in there and have it break down. Or you just blend it up. So... Blending it up. Let me see if I can open this guy. This is one bag. I just think everything, everything should just be one bag. One bag of garlic. One bag of pretty much everything. It just makes it so easy. Measurements are, you know, you don't need to measure everything to the T. Otherwise, you kind of ruin things. So, do everything by taste. So instead of chopping the garlic, I just blended it really quick. Now, I just pour it right in there. It's going to break down over those hours. So, a couple hours, that's going to be great. The meat, the meat, it's, it's brown, but it's not completely cooked. So I'm going to pour it right in there. That's the meat. So, I always want to wipe this so it doesn't drip everywhere. You know, that's a drip all over your kitchen. So, there we go. I'm going to clean that a little bit. Now, this right here is pretty much chili. What I'm going to do is mix it up with that same spoon. Put it right in here, mix it up. Get it all good. Then chili, in four hours, will be ready for the family. And it's a favorite amongst firefighters. And it is a favorite amongst the family, especially, especially uh, wives that just gave birth. They want, if I could cook a meal and it can be tasty, winner, winner, chili dinner. 
Well, join me back in about four hours, and I'll show you the final product. Thank you. We're back and had enough time to get a nice clean shave. Now, so now what I did is, this is the chili. The chili is amazing, delicious. Now, sharp cheddar cheese. That sharp cheddar cheese, actually I cheated a little bit. I poured it all in there. Um, I tasted it right before I got on camera here and uh, it, it tasted perfect. But I needed some like a little bit of like a cream, that sharp cheddar. So I put it in there and it's it's the best. So very simple chili. This is it right here. I'll show you. I'm gonna serve this up to my family. My wife was already asking about it a little while ago. Let me taste a little bit. Hot. Hot, but good, like the firehouse. So thanks for joining. Join me next time. More firefighter safety tips, cooking. Here's my, my chili, home cooked. Simple. Now, I told you uh, beforehand, you can put more cheese if you want in there. I told you beforehand, it would take four hours. Let me just tell you, it took in this crock pot, it took about like two and a half hours. So two and a half hours, all done. That's for me sauteing the meat and the onions. Done. And amazing. Now you could garnish it if you want with like a little avocado. That's really good. I'm going to do that for my son when he gets home. And uh, thanks for joining. Talk to you soon.